Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, I thought I'd do something different since I've mostly just been posting things from my toy collection. I thought I would share with you some autographs that I've collected. Uh, most of them are on my tops um, cards that I've done artwork for, uh, but not all of them. But I'll uh, start off with this one. I actually traded for this one. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have as much money like I used to because I no longer work um, as an artist. So, anyways, it's, uh, let's see. It's one of my favorites, actually. I loved the uh, honeycomb backgrounds. Um, it just takes forever, actually, although you kind of just step down one color or whatever. But uh, that's from my Topps Gallery Modern, modern Artist. There's that, and one of my favorite ones. I just wish, uh, I don't think when I originally did this painting it was this orange. Unfortunately, Tops didn't adjust any colors, it seems, uh, so he's a little more, he looks a little more orange on camera. Um, not quite as bad as in person, but kind of close, but uh, that's it. Aaron Judge, obviously, which, thank God, signed with the Yankees. I'm so happy about that. Um, so, hopefully things will get better next year. Here's a Garrett Cole on my 2020 Topps Gallery. And there's a bunch of Judge ones. This is a one-of-one. One. I was lucky to come across this. Happened to hop on eBay uh, in 2019 and found this and uh, it was a great deal actually and so it is my only one of one Aaron Judge that I have and si since it's actually my artwork it means even more so I don't think I'll ever get rid of this um, and here are these are two more Aaron Judge ones these I actually uh, mailed to him I've mailed the cards to him several different times, but these were sent to the stadium. And sadly, my original artwork that I sent to be signed um, just vanished. I never got it back. I don't know what happened to it. Um, someone's enjoying it somewhere at the Yankee Stadium. But uh, here's uh, a 10 of 10, which 10 auto, 10 card is uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good, it's excellent. Because uh, this one was a 9 and 10 on the auto. It does have pretty simple, uh, clean autograph. I find it funny that a lot of these players will sign their full names and stuff when they first um, start off playing baseball. And then they slowly uh, just start to get to this extent where there just literally looks like a somewhat of a G and a T, I guess. Um, I know he hasn't been doing great the last year or so, but then again, all the Yankees were kind of doing rough near the end. Um, I really hope he stays with the Yankees and, and gets some extra training in or whatever it takes, but uh, I really hate to see him go to another team, and especially since I have a ton of his cards. Um, I'll actually be showing those in another video, but there's uh, Glaber Torres, and here is, I got three Glaber Torres signatures. There's another one on my card. That's the other side there for you. And here is my other one by him. This was his rookie card. I wish I had done cleaner art back then, but it is what it is. Can't reverse time only when you're watching Back to the Future. <laughs> so here's a player who apparently uh, lots of hype and didn't pan out. And then I, I haven't followed him really, so I just know that didn't go as well as expected. Here's one I, I actually, uh, this is a one that I pulled. Um, I do have, I don't know if it's him or another player coming up that I actually um, mailed to them. So there's that. Johnny Bench. Very cool. I remember him when I was growing up. 
here is one I actually sent because I couldn't uh, get a hold of one. It's not my best painting. Um, I rushed on these, and as he's gotten older, his handwriting's mine's mine's already starting to get worse, and I'm only fifty something. So, but I got a lot of shit going on here. Another, I really enjoyed him when he when he was doing well. Um, Gary Sanchez. I also have a lot of his cards. Um, I'm not sure if I'll hold on to them, you know, hold on to them or not. But uh, there's his. This is actually on a orange background. Let's stick that over there. And here it is. This is not a, as you can see, not a gallery card. This is one, uh, one of the first autos I actually bought of Yankee players. It was a really cheap price. And I thought this was a really badass design. They should do sketch cards like this. They could do a uh, color on the side. I really like that blue. It was almost like felt or velvet. And then they have the seams of the baseball and then you could do a sketch in here it's actually i originally before i ran into issues i created a round sketch card that's shaped like a ball i'm honestly surprised tops hasn't done that um maybe after they hear my video they will but uh <laughs> it's uh i created my own just for custom cards but i never got to uh, print the uh, card because i had to find someone who could do die cutting um this is a sketch i sent in sadly I rushed it. Um, I only had two days to get this painted and sent off, so um, I might sell this eventually. I don't know. And it's one of one, and I think it's double authenticated. Yeah, it's it's authenticated by Fanatics and PSA, so you definitely know that one's uh, legit. And here's some more. These obviously I love. Um, these are personal sketch cards. These are also authenticated twice. And I'm hoping to get some more of these by him. This is a, you can't really see it in this video, but this is a refractor. It actually has little dots. It's hard to see with the plastic over it. Um, I put a lot of these plastic sleeves on them because they get scratched up. And uh, I don't like that. But uh, I like nice auto. Like I said, I should be having more of those at some point. I really enjoyed this one. Never thought I would be painting Reggie Jackson and having him sign my artwork. Never in my life. I was, a little, when I was a little kid, watching the Yankees, um, 1981, I guess it was, 8081. Uh, I used to start, I started collecting cards and he was one of the cards I chased after. I do miss, uh, the good old days of Reggie Jackson playing. And here is Frank Thomas. These were personally signed for me. I have two of them. I actually sent the small marker to have it signed, but they used a fat um, marker instead. But uh, still love the card. And here's some more of my Topps Gallery. And this one is just because I was collecting Yankees autographs also. Chance Adams. I'm not even sure how. Half the time, there's players just seem to come and go so quickly with uh, teams. It just seems crazy to keep up. Here's a Raphael Devers autographed card. I love this card. It reminds me of Flash. And since he had the red outfit, that's kind of why I went with that. And these are um, tops autographs on these. There you go. A lot of these aren't even teamed. It didn't matter to me whether I liked the team or not. It, um, if I could find one of my cards with autographs on them, I did my best to get them. I have some other ones also that I didn't send a PSA just because they weren't really well-known players. Um, sometimes I was asked to do rookies and sometimes those rookies did well and sometimes they didn't. So there's a Charlie Blackman. Hate, ugh, hate drawing beards. Hate drawing hair in general. Just takes forever and then I get mad with myself. Um, but uh, here's Bryce Harper. Pretty, I like that one. 
And this has nothing to do with baseball, but I got this one. I'm really surprised his stuff isn't worth more. He was a, a really good player. But uh, that's in with my collection. And let's see what else we got here. Albert Abreu. Those are not obviously my cards. There's another one. That's just lazy. I'm sorry. That's lazy. That's like George Lucas's GL. Um, just lazy. <laughs> Same with these. I'm sorry, uh, Francisco. I love your... Uh, glad I love the paintings and stuff, but uh, that's just... Anyone could literally scribble that. It doesn't look like an F or an L. So... And that, oh, no, I said the best for last. I believe there's some more somewhere, but here is a Derek Jeter. That's kind of messy, too. It's just kind of a, I think the best player, I think, anyways, has the best one is um, Mariano Rivera. That's a great signature. I just wish it was on better artwork by me. But what you got to do? All right, let me just double check real quick here. And all the rest of these are... Oh, wait, we got one more. Here was a sketch card I did get signed by Francisco Lindor. Um, that's uh, tops. So, those are my sketches signed. And, oh, here is a comparison. Here's another Mariano Rivera um, card signed. It's kind of an odd ugly card, but, you know, still cool, and uh, that looks like that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I will have some more baseball cards, um, actually I might just shoot it right after this video, um, because uh, while I'm feeling good at the moment, which doesn't last long, um, actually I, I have to go have a tumor removed from my left hand, that's why you're only seeing my right hand, <laughs> I have a big... Uh, system my left hand so uh i've kind of only just been showing you with these so anyways i'm gonna have that taken care of and hopefully everything is well and uh it's, it's always something with me so if you're watching this uh at the current time happy holidays coming up and uh i'll talk to you guys soon and uh, i appreciate you uh following my videos and watching them and i'll talk to you soon bye bye